Okay, I'm just making this to show some of the skeptics and stuff just how fast you can get the Line Rider and Line Rider 2 to go without falling off the track, because some people don't seem to believe that he can really go that fast without someone hacking or something. So anyway, I mark the track with these little lines up and down to show uh, just how fast he's going, just, just by how fast those are going by. And uh, just to get a little background, this entire section right here to this jump is all one boost section. Uh, then it does a very long jump to right here, which is a normal jump. Then it lands here and jumps off again, lands here. Then goes uh, up this ramp right here, and then just to show how high it can get, this is, isn't even going the fast on the track, it jumps all the way up right here. This doesn't look to scale, but uh, at normal zoom, this is... This is a lot bigger. Like this is the normal level that he's he's gonna be like uh, about the size of the cursor. So this is a pretty long, huge jump. And then uh, he uh, jumps down, goes right in between these two sections, and lands right here. And this is the fastest part of the track. The uh, the reverse acceleration starts at this little asterisk right here, and it continues uh, all these are reverse acceleration pads all the way up right here to that asterisk from the end then it's going so fast and those aren't doing anything that it ends up uh, flying off the track right here and I couldn't do anything so I managed to land it back on the track right here and then it was going a lot slower because the deceleration pads managed to slow it down just enough that I could actually get an angle here because right here, this is the biggest angle I could get, which is actually really small if you're really close. Because if I just went like slightly off, you would flip right off the sled really fast. So then it finishes right here. Oh yeah, those are still normal ones. Then it ends up, then it starts up inclining, and these are deceleration pads again. Then it ends up leaving the track again because I couldn't hold it on still. And then it gets a tiny angle here, which you know it's almost done. Then then I finish off with a. Uh, really long upward incline to um to slow it down instead of the deceleration pads because they don't they're not actually decelerating they're just reverse accelerating because there's no such thing as dis deceleration anyway anyway then it uh finally stops right there okay let's watch this here we go okay there's the start at the first asterisk this is how big it is so that's uh this is a really long track it goes so fast, it gets by really fast. He leaves the track there a little bit. Because I had trouble measuring it out. And he does the first jump, and he's flying almost perfectly like parallel to the bottom of the screen. For a really long distance. Then hits the second one, jumps. And it's the third one. Then he almost flips over, flips upside down. Then lands. I was really lucky on that one. Then he goes off the huge jump and starts going upward. So watch how long this jump is. Let's zoom out a little bit. Whoops. So it might be a little bit slow because my computer doesn't like this. There we go. That's how big he is. Right there, that little dot in the middle. Then he jumps. Then he reaches the wow sign and goes barely above it. And then starts falling. So obviously he's going to be going pretty fast if he's free falling with no friction. And he falls in between the jumps. Let me get a little bit closer. This might be slow because obviously it's not Cam Studio isn't perfect. It just starts. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. And then it lands again at another asterisk. Now it starts the uh, the reverse acceleration pads, and it's still going this fast. And it flies off the track just because it's going so fast. Then it uh, then it lands again on the track. And now it starts its upward incline with the acceleration pads. Then those end up flipping it over forward, which is why I got rid of them on the next jump. And then it lands and it starts going like almost straight up in the air. This is probably the best where I found to slow something down without getting it to flip over. And that was pretty cool when it flips over, but if you don't want it to, I don't, this this works pretty well. Sorry about the two FPS points. My computer is being really bad. QuickTime is probably trying to update because it's stupid. <sighs> oh, 
There we go, here's the end. Yeah, like, no, and that was pretty cool. Anyway, uh, for all the skeptics and stuff, you can that guy going pretty fast without using any kind of hacks or whatever. <laughs> and you can still make him land right side up. Uh, okay. That's the end.